Ah, today's a good day. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Daily Live. And I want to share something with you today to help you make more money, but also have more impact. And this question that I'm going to give you is going to help you think about what you're doing and how you're thinking about what you're doing. All right. And stick with me for a minute. It'll make sense. So if you're somebody who is a trainer and you're like, well, how do I figure, how do I get more people signed up for my program? How do I get more clients? How do I make more money? If you're really stuck in this mindset of how do I get, you're going to sabotage your creativity to ask the, the real question here, which is going to give you the answers to getting all of that things, all of those things, having the impact, getting loads of clients, getting the followers, all the kind of things that you want. And this question came about from me sitting here for the past few hours, coming up with content ideas. And I was sitting here, you know, I, I really love creating content. If you guys go to my YouTube channel, you'll see there's hundreds of videos all around growing your fitness business, becoming a better trainer, becoming a better coach, doing marketing, all that kind of stuff. And I spend a lot of time coming up with these ideas and creating content, even doing these daily lives. And what this the question that I ask myself when I'm creating all these pieces of content is never how can I get more clients? Um, how can I make more money? The question that I ask myself is what can I give? How can I give? Because in asking that question, you are going to create better content. You're going to create more engagement. And in turn, you will naturally get reciprocated the result that you want. And so it's kind of like you have to switch your focus away from what can I get to what can I give? And in giving, you are naturally going to get more back whether it's from God or the universe or whatever you believe in. But when you aim to give, you'll get more back. It's like in a relationship, right? When you give to somebody else, when you give love, when you give care, when you give time, they're going to give that back to you. And the same thing is true just like on social media. When it comes to putting out content because you want to inspire people, you want to help people, if you really lead with that in mind of I want to help people, I want to add value to people's lives, I want to create something that's going to help people. Naturally, everything that you want is going to come back as a byproduct of what you put out there. And so I'll start with this question for a couple of hours today as I was on my notes, writing down content ideas, coming up with different things to, to share, to add value to people. And in doing so, the response I get is is tremendous. You know, the response I get through people DMing me about what they've watched on YouTube and what they've learned from my channel or, or what they're learning through, you know, what I share on Instagram or anywhere on social media. Because the question I'm always asking is, what can I give? How can I give? Well, how can I show up that's going to add value to people's lives? And by focusing my attention, my time on that one thing, the thing that I can control, because I can't control who's going to sign up for the academy, how much money I'm going to make, how much impact I'm going to have, how many followers I'm going to get. I can't control the outcome because that is a byproduct. That is the result of the effort that you put in. And so by focusing in on the thing that you can 100% control, which is what you go and create, what you put out there, the time you spend on social media, when you focus in on that and control that, the byproduct is the results that you want. So it's kind of counterintuitive and it's a it's quite a counterintuitive way of thinking if you want to get a result. And as I said, it's the same with anything in life, in relationships, friendships, and everything that is important to you. You focus on giving because when you give, you get. And I wanted to share this with you today because it's what I've been doing this morning, coming up with content to share on my social media and spending a lot of time really obsessing on those questions of what can I give? What's going to be helpful? What's going to be valuable? How do people want to learn right now? What's the best way to teach? Because there's so many forms of content. There's so many ways people are absorbing content, learning Um it's, it's, it's becoming harder to know what to create, how to create content. Shall I write a post? Shall I make a video? Shall I make a long video? Shall I do a story? Shall I do a short video? Should, you know, what should I create? 
becomes a hard question um, because there's so many platforms. But by focusing in on just like, well, what's the what's the value I'm going to add with this? Who, who am I adding value to right now? And then what what is it I'm trying to help them with? What problem am I trying to solve in this piece of content, in this post, in this video? And just by focusing on that, you can then discover the ways of creating that content, right? Whether it's a post, you write a story, an ad, a video, because you know maybe a video for another a time around overwhelm, because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it does feel overwhelming when you realize how many different platforms there are, places to post, and uh, you know places you feel like you need to be. So uh, I would say um, just focus on adding value first, and how you deliver that message is going to come naturally through the means that which resonates with you, the style that feels right to you in terms of your personality, whether you're a writer, whether you're a talker, whether you're a video person, um, because that comes secondary to the value you're going to add. And through leading with value, you're going to differentiate yourself from everybody else out there who is all doing the same thing, um, not really adding value, which again, probably is another video for another time around what types of things to share on social media, because I'm looking around and I see so much content being shared by trainers and coaches that doesn't really add value to people's lives. I mean, yeah, you look great in these, these workout videos, you, you look ripped, you look lean, you look great, but is that really helping somebody? Is that really going to create change or transformation in somebody's life? And that's the question you want to ask before you go and create content. Um, so just wanted to share that with you today. I'm going to jump into the comments in just a second, but I hope this message is helpful for you. If it is, share it out, tag a friend and leave a comment because I always like to hear from, from you guys on social media. That's why I, touch, that's why I show up for these daily lives um, live so that you guys can ask questions as well. So I'm going to jump into Instagram real quick and then we'll go over to Facebook because Instagram seems to like throw the questions down and then they go away. Cool. Good to see you all here. Hope you're having a good day. Um, thank you, Kiki. Appreciate that. I think I saw a question here from Martin. One of the biggest mindset, one of the biggest mindset changes I had was what problem can I solve for that person? Uh, that was a big shift for him. I can't see the rest of it, but absolutely. When you focus on solving a problem for somebody, instead of thinking, how can I look cool? How can I sound good? What could I do that's going to be impressive? Once you focus on that, it becomes easier. And it also removes the pressure from you to create content to look cool or be impressive or get lots of likes because you're not trying to go for that. You're trying to go for impact. Um, so 100%. Um, yeah, and, and Martin just added there, seeing other trainers posting workouts and content like that can be quite intimidating because regular people, right, people that are following you guys for fitness content, training content and advice, they're intimidated. So, you know, you have to like, if you want to sell fitness, you need to make it warm and welcoming and make it fun, make it feel relatable, make it feel like it's not this big, scary thing that people get intimidated by, right? You have to make it welcoming, make them feel good for it, like make them feel like they they, they want to participate. What's up, Yusuf? We're doing good over here. Hope you're progressing well through the academy. Hello, Hannah, over on Twitch. Wow, okay, we're on Twitch as well now. <laughs> um, hey, Miriam, 100%. She's agreeing with me there. Um, Gabriel is asking, is NASM the best certification? Um, you know, I don't really think there's much between the certifications. I think what's more valuable than which company you get certified by if you want to be an in-person trainer in the gym, it's more about the self-education that you go through and the self-development that you go through to better yourself as a trainer because they're going to teach you some textbook stuff about the body parts, about basic nutrition, about biomechanics, but really you're going to learn the most by getting experience in the field, just like you would in business. You can't go and study business at school and think you know how to run a business. You have to go and you know take some risks and have some challenges. Like the post I made yesterday on Instagram was was just about this concept of um, of facing risk and and challenging yourself by doing things that are, are hard in order to get things you want. So I'd say it's not so much about the certification that you do. Um, but more about how you apply yourself into the real world when it comes to being a trainer. Um, Bridget Gibson, listen to this dude. Oh, he's, uh, someone's being tagged in this. Appreciate you sharing that message. Um, I can't see that person. Thank you again, Lee. 
Um, some reason it doesn't show all the comments. Um, back on Instagram, James, what is up? PT Academy student here checking in. Um, good to see you here, James. Um, is it wise to hold back knowledge for paying clients or should I throw out as much info as I possibly can in my post? I love this question because, man, this question is so good because I think certainly as, as you know, trainers in the industry are probably thinking, well, if I give too much away, that's going to take the information and then they're, they're not going to need me anymore, right? That's probably what you would think. But it's actually the opposite to be true, which is the more you give, right? Going back to the concept of this video, the more you give, the more you'll get back. So instead of thinking, what sh how can I give this a little bit of information and then like they can pay me for the rest, just give it all. Because what you're going to find is we're in a world where information is um, accessible now. All the information anybody could possibly need is out there, right? You go on my YouTube channel, you can learn how to go and like piece everything together and start your fitness business. I don't hold back because I know that if I'm going to really add value, I can't withdraw things. I can't withdraw information. And also it feels better to give completely freely because that way, you know, you're not trying to like deceive people into buying something. But what's going to happen is the law of reciprocity, right? Where you give so much that they're going to feel so like grateful for the help you've given them that they're just like, well, you've helped me so much. I feel like I just need to give back to you now. And naturally, if, if you're the person that has helped somebody, reach the goal or see a change in their body or in their life, they're going to come to you first rather than the million other trainers across social media. So I would say don't worry too much about giving too much away because the information isn't what people find hard. It's the application into their life. And so what people pay for isn't training. They pay for transformation, right? They don't buy coaching. They buy coaches. So if you're focused on giving them what they need, right? doesn't necessarily mean they're going to take it and actually use it. Just like I said, all the content I'm sharing on my IGTV, my YouTube channel, it's all helpful content to go and sign up clients and grow your fitness business. But what people struggle with is the accountability, is the support, is the application of the knowledge. So to answer your question in short, just give away your best information, give away your best advice. Um, Gary V says it best. And um, you'll find just by doing that, you're going to draw more people in because they're going to feel your transparency and your desire and your want to help. So hope that answers your question, James. And I hope that helps anybody else here today. We normally keep these kind of brief under 10 minutes, but we're going on today. So I'm going to cut this one short. You're welcome, Gabriel. Thank you all for joining today. Hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, just shoot me a DM on Instagram at Lee Constantinou. I'm always here to chat and have a good day. I'll see you all.